Hey Team Germy, Scott here. How are you guys doing? It's been a little while since I've talked to you. Not too terribly much news, but this will just be a little random news here and there. Let's start out with a note that we got from the Grimmies about some stuff coming up. And I'm going to put it up here on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and read this. Uh, I think it's important. Dear Team Grimmy, we'd like to express our deepest appreciation for all the love and support you've shown our Christina during her brief but richly filled life. She loved her friends and tried every day in every manner she could to find new ways to reach, please, and inspire them through her God-given gift of music. As her family, we are fully committed to continuing her legacy as she would have wished, and we will constantly up be updating you, the friends, with all the Christina-related activities, including her unreleased music and new mixes of existing music. We send you our love and sincerest thanks once again for allowing her the privilege of living out her dreams through and with you. Tina, Bud, and Marcus Grimmie. That's, that's a sweet note. There's some information in here for us, some new information. We've known about uh, they're going to be releasing her music. As a matter of fact, I've spoken to Marcus, and he is really excited about it. He says it's the best music she had done to date. But what's new in here is that it looks like they're going to be doing some new mixes of some of her existing music, and that'll be good, too. There's one thing I would add to their first paragraph, where they said that she tried to please us and inspire us through her God-given gift of music. Well, it wasn't only her music, but it was her personality, her spirit, her joy, her love, and the whole package that, that we loved. The next news we got was the announcement of the release date for the matchmaker on digital, on iTunes. And you can see that information here. And that's going to be December 6th. So all of you can pre-order that and get it on iTunes. Now, I still don't know if there's going to be a DVD. I would think there would be. And we saw that one s snippet of a picture that hopefully there will be a, a soundtrack album on it. But some of this stuff is going to come slowly, but I've already ordered it on digital and I left a review on iTunes, complete with typos. So check that out on iTunes. Y'all may have heard where Vine is apparently going to be shutting down, and so they may be erasing everything. But don't worry, Christina's Vines are still going to be around because some enterprising people have downloaded them all and compiled them together for your enjoyment, and I'll put some links down below to some of those compilations, so you can check out all of our finds. And we have some more information on the Matchbreaker, and that's about the Tug showings. As you all know, Tug is where it's being sponsored and shown in different areas if they sell enough tickets. Typically, it's been about 70 tickets. So there's some showings coming up, and I'm going to put some slides up, and you may want to go ahead and stop and on the slides one at a time and read through them all, but I'm going to read through some of the places. They've got a sold out show in Marlton, New Jersey, and that's going to be November 7th. And there are also showings coming up in Nashville, Tennessee, another in Marlton, Pennsylvania, California, uh, Westchester, Ohio, Storybrooke, New York. And it turns out we've got three showings scheduled here in Dallas. I'm working on one in the Garland area on the east side of town. And on November 28th, there are two scheduled, one in uh, Central Dallas and Northwest Highway and another in a an, uh, western suburb between Dallas and Fort Worth of Colleyville. Hopefully uh, some of those will sell out. I'm checking into the possibility of possibly combining a couple of them so we can get them all sold out. But check through the slides here and see if there's anything near you. And believe me folks, it is worth the drive to go see it. If you can, go to one of those. Because seeing that movie with members of Team Grimmy, like-minded people, is such an experience. So if there's any way you can make it, do so. And be sure to check out tug.com. I'll put that link down below and search the Matchbreaker under Films and see if it's showing up in your area or if there are some new showings coming up. And finally, I managed to get a hold of a copy of Christina's Find Me album. And this one, apparently, is from when she appeared on Ellen. Everybody in the audience got a signed copy of her album when Christina appeared on Ellen in 2011. 
And as I did with, uh, the, with the With Love album, I'm going to do a quick little review of the sleeve and the everything. And so I've got some slides here. The first one is of the cover with Christina's signature. And, and we've all seen this picture before, cute picture. And then on the inside, on the left, is a long thank you note. And she did this on With Love, too. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I will say, first, her first line is, first and fo foremost, my Jesus Christ, who brought me so far and blessed me with a voice, I sing for him. And then she goes on to thank her mom and her da dad and her brother and <clears throat> her business team in the scene, Selena's band who helped her with it and all the people who helped her write and produce her songs. And of course, at the end here she says, and lastly, and insanely importantly, my fans, geez, you guys are just there for me all the way. Every time I turn around, you've got my back. I say to you, rock on, Team Grimmy, signed Christina Grimmy. Right inside sleeve here is a listing of all the tracks and she wrote on all of the tracks except one, King of Thieves. And that's unusual, because most artists, I don't know if you realize, when they're with a label, typically they're not allowed to write their own songs. They're given songs to write. Being independent, I think, helped Christina show a little more of herself, because she got to write on all of these, except uh, the King of Thieves, and she just loved that one too. Also, which I didn't realize on this album, was the video advice and it's on there and I watched it and it's great and you can see that on the back looking at the back we've seen that picture and some of the few pictures of her with the with the keyboard there and there's a listing of the tracks and at the bottom there you see the music videos included on there and all that stuff so that's a quick review of this so that's about all there's not too much happening right now and it doesn't look like much more will happen until the beginning of December when the movies released, but I'll try to keep track on the tug showings and seeing if they're going and maybe make some announcements on that. Um, I've thought of some other videos. I've actually put another video together, which I will probably upload just before or after Thanksgiving. And a couple other little ideas of just some things, Christina. But, uh, oh, and yeah, I've looked at the numbers on my YouTube page, and it's crazy, folks. I've had I'm oh, getting close to 600,000 views, uh, 1,300 subscribers, but none of those are mine. Those are all Christina. So that's 600,000 more views for Christina, 1,300 more subscribers for Christina. You all are great. You're wonderful. Team Grimmy rocks, still rocks, and will continue to rock. So until later, this is Scott signing off. Being sure, any, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Play, uh, blah, 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 blah. and I've, um, did that again, oh good, just beat on the microphone there, really, blah, 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 blah. Hey. from when she appeared on Oprah, not Oprah, good grief, on Ellen, <laughs> Uh. <laughs> that one almost got by me. That one almost got by me. Because <laughs> I'd already done a take. I'm, I'm just talking to myself here.